So I'm going to go ahead and go to the web interface for NTOP. Okay. NTOP should have actually already started to capture some traffic. I'll leave it to you to go through and and learn all the information that NTOP can actually provide. I'll just show you a few examples. Here we see all the hosts that NTOP has c collected information on. If I have DNS set up properly on my network, NTOP will automatically resolve DNS. I can also take a look at traffic for local users as well as remote websites. This is especially useful if I'm running a proxy server and I see a lot of data going to and from an internet site. Uh, maybe I could set my proxy server to cache that site uh, for a longer period of time or more often and that might help my internet utilization go down a little bit. Now I said you should have a, a little bit of hard drive space to work with for NTOP for all the logs and reports that it generates. Over time you'll eventually need to purge those logs and to do that you can actually use the web interface if you'd like. In the administration menu under the configure option you can say reset stats and it will prompt you to authenticate with the user admin and the password that you set when you ran NTOP for the first time. I would recommend that if you're going to be using the web interface to make configuration changes that you would use HTTPS to connect to the web interface uh, so that you're not sending your password across the network in plain text. Alright, well I hope this video has been useful. Uh, hopefully it's introduced you to something that you haven't seen before and that you're going to be able to utilize in your environment with a minimum of effort and ma maintenance. If you have any questions or comments about this video, uh, feel free to post them on our forum at cbtforfree.org.